So tonight is new moon and it's absolutely gorgeous. It's supposed to be perfectly clear all night long. And it is October, the night of October 17th into the morning of October 18th, Saturday into Sunday. And um, yeah, I'm going after the Crab Nebula, M1 in Taurus. It's just off one of the horns in Taurus and it's a really cool nebula. It's a supernova remnant. Um, which is a star that had exploded, and in fact, when this star exploded many, many years ago, it was documented by humanity, um, and it was visible during the daytime. That's how how bright the star got when it exploded, so it's just really, really fascinating. And over time, um, as this nebula has been watched, we, you know, humanity's actually documented how it's expanded. So if you look at older photos of the Crab Nebula, it's much more condensed than it is in photos nowadays so it's just a really cool object um it's visually it's also really cool uh through the telescope um if you look at it you can definitely see the uh shape of the nebula you know maybe pick up you know kind of like some foggy like details inside of it but uh it's just a lot of fun you, i mean you can really see the shape of this nebula even with pretty modest aperture so you don't need a, a gargantuan telescope to to really appreciate this object but uh yeah why don't we take a look at my guiding tonight and uh some of the sub sub exposures that i've got coming through so here's a look at my guiding as i'm shooting the crab nebula m1 it's uh not too bad i've got the celestron next to our c on the advanced vx mount so uh yeah it's been better, it's been worse, so I can't complain too much. Um, but let's go ahead and look at the sub that had come through the last one. You can see there's the, the Crab Nebula right there. It looks really cool with uh, the modified DSLR. You can see a lot of like the tendril with the detail inside of it. Just, you know, like the filaments. Um, this is a star that had exploded, so it's really cool. Um, but yeah, there it is, the, the Crab Nebula. M1. Let's take a look at this next exposure that's about to come through too in just a few seconds. But uh, I did have to delete a few um, now and then the, the guiding you can see where it just gets wonky and uh, the stars are like doubled there so that happens occasionally when you've got this telescope on the mount but there's the latest sub. Looks very good. I can't complain at all. So yeah, we'll see how the uh, Crab Nebula turns out tonight. Having lots of fun with this one. So here's a look at the uh, the Nexstar Ada C on the Advanced VX mount as it's working on the uh, Crab Nebula. And you can see I've got the Orion Starshoot Auto Guider here. This is the Magnificent Mini Auto Guider, and there's the Ada C, which is a fantastic telescope. I I love that scope. It's one of my favorites. And the Advanced VX mount, which is a pretty good mount. It's a good starter mount. This telescope's really too too big for this mount, I would say. But uh, if you go and approach the mount with the proper, you know, understanding and expectations, it's a, you know, it's a it's a nice mount. And for lighter scopes, it it's it's perfect. But uh, yeah, there it is. That's uh, the scope. I have no um, dew prevention on tonight. It's quite cool out and uh, not really much humidity or anything so I uh, haven't noticed anything. I worked Mars a little bit earlier too and uh, I haven't had any problems with the dew tonight so yeah I just thought I would show the telescope as well.